The number of women in STEM is growing, but it is still far below the number of men. Recent data shows about 25% of people working in STEM jobs are women. Those are jobs like aviation, engineers, software developers, and actuaries. There's also a lack of racial diversity in these fields. Only about 9% of STEM jobs go to black Americans. Only 7% go to Hispanics. So joining us now is a woman who is currently pursuing a STEM career, Yesenia Mendoza. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you here. for having me. Thank you. I appreciate it. We, I'm so excited. I have a seven-year-old daughter and just you're, I, I told you earlier, you're a pioneer. We need more women in STEM. And we know that you've been studying through CSU Global. So where exactly are you at right now in your education? So right now in my education, I completed my web application development and I graduated with three 3.9. Yes. <laughs> and now I'm continuing on to get my um, Azure AI automation certificate. So what is that called? Azure. Azure. AI automation. What is that exactly? So it's more like on um, cloud computing, machine learning. Oh. Yeah, so it's, wow. it stacks on on top of each other. <laughs> so I'll be able to develop more programs, compute more things, and just make the world a lot better and bringing more women into STEM. Yes, so. <laughs> I love that. And why did you pick this field? I picked it because it's ever evolving. It's always growing, the constant knowledge, being able to, you can go into one thing and if you want to evolve, there's so much room for evolving. And it's just great. Like, I love the constant engagement, the complications that come with it because it, it, it stimulates the mind. And I like to learn, so <laughs> that's great for me. <laughs> I love that. That is a great answer. <laughs> How you. has your education, since you love to learn, opened mm -hmm. doors for you? It's opened doors for me quite a bit. Um, CSU Global has helped me a lot because, you know, they gave me the foundation for it. And then I got an internship with Solved It, um, and they're based out of New York. So they're uh, they're an IT company, an IT solutions company for the tri-state. So I'm able to intern with them, and I'm learning so much. So it's definitely opened doors for me. So. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see where you are in five years. What <laughs> obstacles, I can only imagine, have you overcome just to get this education mm -hmm. in STEM and education in general? Yeah, well, I come from the five points, which is the inner city. Um, automatically we're already doubted we're already there's already a preconceived notion that we don't have the intellect to go into these fields into these careers so there's already all this doubt build up so it has been complicated it has been difficult but we're able to do it yes you are a Latina woman in technology a woman in tech like this is where I want to I be. I love this. You know, International Women's Day is on Saturday, and this is just perfect for that. So what challenges have you faced in such a male-dominated industry? Mm -hmm. Yes, so there is always the traditional bias that comes with it, with, you know, being a woman in a male-dominant field, there's a bias of we don't get paid as much as a man does. We look get looked over because of a man. Is there. We have to worry about our appearance because if we look too appealing, they might not take us seriously. There's so much that goes into it just because we're women. And I think that if we're able to bring more women into STEM, we are going to be able to change that. We're going to be able to change that narrative. And I do want to add on to that at CSU Global, they have graduated more women in the STEM mm. field than they have men. What? So we're on our way. <laughs> yes. OK, so we only have about 30 seconds yes. left. Uh, I can only imagine what a great mentor you're going to be to a lot of young women. So what friends, family, support mentors do you have? What would you want to say to them? Yes, I would like to say thank you. I have a whole team at Advanced CDU, everybody at CSU Global, and my boss, Philip Bouquet. Cannon. He took a chance on me taking me on as an internship. So all of them, I am so grateful for. Oh my gosh. Yesenia Mendoza, thank you so much for sharing your thank story. You. You're quite the inspiration. Thank, thank you. you.